Once again, Blargy decided to be stupid. We're going to talk about these parker meters here, or this one here and the mechanism down here, real quick. First, I want to open this one up. Come on. And here we have the coin cup. Oops. Duncan. And we're going to put 10 cents in there. And it's all the way over at 2. I cracked it some while back. I wasn't very pleased with myself for doing that, but there you have it. This one down here is actually the mechanism, which is the same thing that fits in there. Um, that's actually all that's in these mechanical wise is just this and the, and the locks. We're going to show you real quick how it works. Um, you notice when there's no coin in there, it doesn't do anything. You can look in here and kind of see why this turns. This plate back here, steel plate back there is not turning. They're not hooked together. Now, if you notice along the edge of that steel plate, down here, not these ratchet teeth, but let me find my pointer. But these down here. Focus, darn you. These teeth down here is what we're going to look at. Not these right along here. I'm going to put this quarter in there. I'm going to turn it. What you're hearing is this piece right here hitting these ratchets, which just keeps you from being able to turn it backwards. Now, what's really happening, though, is you can see more of those down here. What it's doing is it's going to catch the ratchets on this steel plate back here. This plate right here. And it's going to turn that. And as it turns it, watch back here and this clock works. Move that clock works some. And that just advanced it forward a little bit more. So basically, based on the size of the coin, it tells how far it can push this little wheel right here to, which determines how far it'll turn the dial forward so depending on how they have it set up the size of the coin determines how far it'll turn this silver wheel back here now these old mechanical ones it just goes by the size of the coin it doesn't tell like metal or or weight or anything so you have something that's the exact same size as the quarter made out of plastic or steel or whatever it'll fit in there but if it's slightly off or too thick or whatever you'll either jam it up or mess it up but a lot of people wonder about the violation flag what that is is if you decide that you're going to put this in there and only turn it halfway and try to get away with that without putting it all the way in well you'll get a violation originally people would do that and there was no violation flag and they would do that, and then when the meter maid come along, she would figure that maybe you just didn't turn it all the way, and they would turn it for you. Well, if that was 30 minutes later, you just got 30 minutes for free between the time that you turned it and the time they turned it the rest of the way. So they made it a violation to leave it halfway turned, so if you try to pull that trick now, you get an instant ticket. And each one of these can be set up differently, based on the gearing inside here and... Um, what denominations is this designed to take? This one takes 10 and 25. This one takes 1 cents, or 1 cent, 5 cents, and 10 cents. Penny, nickel, and dime. And you can't put quarter. You could, or actually the quarter won't even fit, but there's no quarter slot. But you can use pennies in it. And a penny on this one would have gotten you 12 minutes. 1 hour for a nickel, and 2 hours for a dime. Kind of cool. And this one, it's 12 minutes for a dime, 30 minutes for a quarter, and it only goes to 90 minutes, so an hour and a half. Whereas this one goes to two hours, you can tell how inflation and everything made the price higher. But that's how those work. Later, I will do one on the Parco meter, which is back there behind that payphone. You can kind of see it back there. I got two of them, and we'll do one on it.
for now, this is the Duncan Model 60, I believe is what this is. And hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.